More than 24,000 cars cross this bridge over Lake Hartwell every day. Crews were forced to close the inside lane after a literal hole started to form. When the extent of the hole was significant all the way through the deck of the um, bridge. The bridge was built in 1962. District engineer Kevin McLaughlin says age, coupled with cold weather, caused the bridge to deteriorate. It seems extreme for me living in South Carolina all these years, but we've had some pretty extreme cold this, this winter. He says water seeps into the asphalt and concrete. And then it freezes and thaws, freezes and thaws, expands, contracts, and it and it um, blows out basically. Right now, this bridge is classified as functionally obsolete, meaning it's safe to travel, but not up to today's design standards. McLaughlin says they've patched this spot twice in the last two years, but nothing seemed to stick. We patched the top, and the patch would um, you know, hold a particular amount of time. Sometimes it wouldn't. This time around, they're ripping it up, putting a new rebar, concrete, and asphalt. McLaughlin doesn't know yet how much the repair will cost, but the concrete alone costs $35,000. And crews may have to return to the project in the spring when asphalt is more readily available. McLaughlin says repairs will likely last through the weekend. He hopes to have the lane open by Monday, depending on weather. Brett McDavid, WYFF News 4 in Anderson County.